Welcome back everyone to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. My name is Saints Fan and today Rockstar released a new post on their website detailing all of the weaponry in the game. They even gave us some cool videos with sound and I'm going to be going over all of that in today's video. Now I just want to say sorry for this coming out a little bit later. Over the last couple of days I have been rebuilding my setup from scratch so I can be prepared for Red Dead Redemption 2 so I can live stream and, you know, have everything ready for October 26th. So I've kind of been busy doing that. So sorry for the deletedness, I guess, on this video. But anyway, hopping in, we see it starts off by saying weaponry. Detail, depth, and choice to find every aspect of Red Dead Redemption 2, and weapons are no exception. There are over 50 unique usable weapons, a massive range of options for customization, and a wide selection of different ammunition types to improve accuracy, range, or damage. The more a gun is used, the better it will perform, but it will also start to degrade over time if not looked after. So a trusty sidearm needs to be kept oiled and clean. And I'm not going to read through all of the, all of what I'm showing you guys now, because there's a ton. It's, it's just like an in-game sort of ad for some of the weapons. So we have the, the Cattleman revolver right there. And I'll leave a link to this in the description if you want to go through and read, or you can just pause the video and, uh, and read some of the stuff they do go in detail on certain things but it's mainly just like an in-game ad sort of selling this stuff next we have the volcanic pistol this was actually in the original red dead redemption game so it'll be fun to see that back then we have the spring field rifle this one apparently is a hunting or a powerful hunting partner so this one you may use for hunting a lot an interesting thing to note, it does say that uh, this rifle can be fired up to 23 times per minute, which is definitely uh, a lot faster than the guns used to be back in the day. Moving along, we have the sawed-off shotgun. This is going to be, I think, uh, one of the more fun weapons to use. Where it may lack range, it does not lack power, so this is going to be definitely a close quarters weapon. And we have the Litchfield Repeater, which is a lever action breech loading rifle. And I'm guessing it has even a faster rate of fire uh, from the other one because it says it's a rapid rate of fire is a joy to behold and infirmed who enjoy the ability to possess the firepower of a dozen muzzle loading muskets. It actually uses 44 caliber rounds, so it should pack a punch. And I'm guessing that's going to be one of the, uh, the most popular weapons at least at the start and then again some more ads i think these are maybe some of the brands that are in the game then we get into weapon choice and customization with a myriad of customization options ranging from visual upgrades like new metals woods varnishes and engravings to performance upgrades like new barrels grips sights and scopes you can design an entirely unique weapon that handles uh, that looks and handles exactly the way you want it to. Every weapon's performance varies in terms of damage, range, fire rate, accuracy, and reload speed, so it's important to pick wisely depending on the situation. The high fire rate of a double action revolver led, lends itself well to shooting on the move from horseback. If you're carrying something in one hand, like a lantern or small animal, consider using a sawed off shotgun, which packs a much bigger punch at close range than other one-handed weapons. The Varmint Rifle is perfect for hunting small game because it's far less likely to damage the quality of the skin and meat rather than, or, or than a firearm with a bigger shell size. And then when faced with one, just one or two enemies, you might want to go for a Springfield Rifle which has a slower fire rate but delivers a much higher damage. For range, a Sniper Rifle of some kind is obviously a good choice but scopes can also be fitted to other types of rifles, enable, enabling you to switch between regular view and scope view at any time. That sounds really cool, and that's going to be really fun to sort of switch between long range and, I guess, medium range on certain guns. 
Now checking out some of these new screenshots on the left here. These are all new ones of Arthur. Metals and engravings are customizable per component. Select different colors and engravings for the trigger guard, barrel, frame, and more. You can also choose from a variety of inlay metals for the engravings on each part. And you can see that customization on this weapon here, like the engravings there, looks freaking awesome. I don't know if we uh, sort of zoom in, if maybe this is what the degradation is. You can see maybe it looks like a, a little, I don't want to say rusted, but it's, it's almost turning brown. I don't know if maybe over time, if your gun will sort of look like that if you don't clean it, but maybe that's the degradation that they are talking about. But... Uh, everything else, by the way, looks awesome. And I think this is actually our first screenshot of Arthur without wearing a hat. So you can choose to go hatless if you want. And then he is rocking the other gun. He is holding it in the other hand. The other screenshot, for extra stopping power, purchase and craft a variety of ammo types, such as split point, high velocity, or explosive ammo. Now, I don't know how prevalent explosive ammo actually was back in 1890, but it is going to be in Red Dead Redemption 2. And taking a look at this screenshot is kind of gruesome. So I guess they, they saw the people kind of wondering about the gore in the game. And they said, look, you're going to get some crazy stuff in the game. So uh, definitely if we zoom in over here, dude's head is uh, exploded, basically. And I can only imagine what that would look like if he was like a shotgun point blank. As for Arthur, though, you can see he's rocking his pistol. And then he has his knife and some other stuff. But nothing uh, too important in this picture, apart from the dude's brain getting shot out. Then we have two other pictures. Your horse's saddle will, st will store all of your weapons. Be sure to select and carry the weaponry you'll need when leaving the horse behind. So taking a look at this one in the snow, obviously you have to wear some warmer clothes. And I do like how the snow is actually on the clothes. But like they say, your horse... He will have the unlimited pouch to store everything. But when you go away from your horse, because you can't take your horse to every situation, you have to pick and choose which weapons you want. And you can only pick up to three. And then the fourth uh, picture, carry single-handed pistols, revolvers, and single-handed sawed-off shotguns in your holsters. Upgraded and reinforced holsters will protect the weapons from degradation against the elements, while off-hand holsters give you the ability to dual wield. So you're going to have to decide, I guess, on what you want. And taking a look at this, you can see his dual wielding over here in the swamp. Looks great. He is looking a little dirty, though. So you're probably going to have to do some uh, cleaning. Although, to be fair, you're in the swamp. So, you know, uh, I'm sure that's something that's going to happen. You can see just the details. You got the moss growing on the trees and stuff. But, yeah, that is uh, that picture. Then we get into Deadeye. Deadeye is a powerful weapon on its own, temporarily slowing down time during combat so you can pick off your enemies with more precision. The new Deadeye system gradually expands and becomes more sophisticated over the course of the game from selecting or from automatically selecting targets in your crosshairs to allowing you to manually place shots on multiple targets to being able to shoot at will in slow motion and ultimately pinpointing the weak spots on your enemies for even deadlier accuracy. The system grows with you and your experience and can often provide the critical edge in a life or death situation. And then the new screenshots here, we have preserving and unleashing Deadeye in gunfights with multiple enemies can be a critical strategy for turning the battle in your favor. And a couple of things to note in here, yes, he did shoot him. You can see the two X's on the dude's body there. But over here on the top right, I'm wondering how much ammo we will actually be able to carry because they keep making a big deal about having it realistic where you can only carry certain guns on you. Well, how much ammo? Is that also going to be realistic or is it not? And then down here on the left, you can actually see three new things, which I'm guessing is health, maybe? Not entirely sure. Maybe stamina, what the lightning is, and then dead eye for the, like, that's the dead eye bar. So we see that, I think, in a few of these screenshots and... We're, we're obviously wondering what that is. The next picture, paint your enemies with targets and unleash a rapid fire hail of bullets. And again, you can see he has five. Uh, this dude's dead. I mean, five shots, one in his head, two in his neck, two in his freaking heart. Like, uh, it ain't looking too good. And again, ammo kind of low. So that's going to be cool. 
to see if that's realistic as well. And then the same three things over here on the left, you can see the heart, the lightning, and then the eye. And then it also looks like the actual picture is sort of draining in addition to the thing that's going, like the white bar that's going around it. So who knows what that is? And then you can see the mini map, uh, some new icons maybe. The third picture we have, this one's kind of cool. As Deadeye progresses over the course of the game, you will be able to see critical and fatal points on your enemies, such as the heart, brain, and lungs. And this guy, obviously, his head is a critical part. You can see, I guess, uh, the part over here that's his heart area. So this may not be useful for humans, because we all know where those critical points are. But for animals, I think that's going to be, uh, be really helpful. And then over here, we actually have five of those things so we have the three that we've seen earlier but then we have two extra ones maybe this is like a potion or something not a potion but uh something like that that arthur took maybe that's what's showing up who knows who knows and then the final picture dead eye drains over time as you use it you can replenish it quickly in combat scenarios by consuming provisions or tonics that's what i i think this may be a tonic that uh he took but again, Arthur shooting some money. You see the blood coming out. This is actually kind of a, a new area, it looks like. We're in like a little farm here that's on fire. But yeah, I'm thinking these things on the left may be something to do with the tonic that Arthur took. And then we get to see these weapons in action. And I'll play the sound. This is cool. The bolt action rifle is strong and versatile with an ammo capacity of five rounds, an ideal choice for long range combat with multiple targets. Here's what it sounds like. That's cool. The next one, the carbine repeater is a reliable repeating rifle with a solid firing rate and quick reload speed thanks to the tube loaded magazine on the weapon's stock. Then we have the Cattleman Revolver has an ammo capacity of six rounds and is a great all-around revolver with a good balance of damage, accuracy, and fire rate. And this is him just reloading it. And then the final one, the pump action, the high-powered pump action shotgun is a powerful weapon should you find yourself confronted by a wild beast or enemy in close combat. And this thing sounds amazing. So that is the new article. That is the weapons. Like I said, I'll leave a link if you want to read through some of those ads. But thank you all for watching. That is going to do it for this video. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Because once I do get my, my, my setup fully complete, I'm going to be doing some really cool stuff. Thank you all for watching, though. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.